right guys welcome back to the YouTube channel uh, today we're gonna be going over a little bit of block prep um, this is something we do on all our race stuff um, a lot of the higher performance street stuff we do this as well but basically what we're doing we're going in we're grinding and kind of casting flash off uh, just deburring the block getting rid of any sharp edges that may be a stress riser um, just try to prevent any chances of the block cracking um, just helps make it a little stronger and um, I'll kind of show you some little areas you can kind of see like the casting flash through here. It's kind of sharp, and even up and through here. We're just going to kind of go through and kind of deburr a lot of that. Um, just kind of go over the whole block, even like down here at the bell housing. There's a little bit of casting flash. It's kind of sharp. So we're basically just going to go over the whole block and make sure that everything is nice and deburred and smooth. And that's pretty much it. So we'll get going. So I'll just kind of show you all kind of what we got going on here. Um, kind of starting of trying to get rid of a lot of this casting flash. You can see on one side I've done compared to how rough the other side is. So that's all we're looking for. Um, this also does help with oil drain back. So it doesn't have to flow up over a ridge or fill up or anything first. But we'll drain back a little easier. So we'll just Keep hogging on. All right guys, so we've got all our deburring and uh, grinding up, a uh, little modifications on some of the oiling system just to help oil drain back. Uh, we wanna make sure we can get the oil back to the pan, especially since this is gonna be a dry sump setup. Um, I'll kinda show you a close up of some of this. So as you can see, we went in, we ground everything, uh, got rid of a lot of the sharp edges. We've done a little bit of radiusing and rounding off of these oil drain backs and smooth things up just to help oil flow just a little bit better. And then this spot here that was pretty rough before, we now smoothed out. And then we did chamfer the bottom of the cylinders. So we did go in and we chamfered 
just kind of the bottom edge, just get rid of those sharp edges. Just anything we can do to get rid of any kind of stress risers. Minimize the chances of block cracking, anything like that. Little areas through here, smoothing all that out. So next, we will probably get this in the home and get this owner's home. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell, and make so you get notified whenever we drop a new video. And we'll see you next time.